Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. Today we're going to take a look at something that we find in the book of um, Romans and we're in chapter 4 reading from verse 16. It says, therefore it is of faith that it might be according to grace so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did, who, contrary to hope, in hope believed so that he, talking about Abraham, became the father of many nations according to what was spoken, so shall your descendants be. And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead, since he was about a hundred years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was able, he was also able to perform and therefore it was accounted to him for righteousness. A bit of a long um, passage there, but you have to read all of it to get the gist of it, the full gist of it. So what is it saying in essence? Abraham was given a promise by God and Abraham listened to that word of God and he absorbed that word and took it at face value, took it as the way God said it to him and did not waver. He did not shake. He did not um, think about the logicality of it. He did not um, allow himself to dwell on the impossibility that it seemed to, that, that seemed to stare him in the face. And what was that impossibility? First, uh, that he was a hundred years old. And at that point in time, uh, there was nothing about him that seemed to indicate that he could father a child at that age. Secondly, the wife that he had, Sarah, was equally old as well. She was she had been barren all the years, or you know, all, all the years of their marriage, and she also um, was old. She was ninety. The Bible says here she was ninety years old. He was a hundred. His wife was ninety years old, and so there was no way, you know, biologically that they were going to be able to have a baby you know, whatever, you know, in ever, in, in whichever way that they looked at it. And that, however, did not, as far as he was, he was concerned, did not count him out. You know, and I think one of the reasons that he was able to hold on to the word of God was the fact that, you know, God said to him, your name is Abraham. We're going to change your name to be, to Abraham. And, you know, he says to himself, okay, you're going to call me Abraham, which means father of nations. And I'm going to have to tell people, my name is Abraham. And people are going to be calling me Abraham, father of nations. And some will be sniggering behind my back and saying, ha, father of nations, indeed. He doesn't even have one. So what, what, what does he mean, father of nations? And yet he's telling us, call him father of nations. But you see, Abraham chose to hold on to the word of God. And as long as he could have that word, as, as long as he could have that, you know, assurance where God says, hey, listen, this is your name now. He began to believe God. He began to trust God. He began to just say, you know what? regardless of what I can see or cannot see, I am going to hold on to the word of God and I'm going to hold on to this promise. I'm not going to shake and I'm going, not going to waver. And that the Bible says was accounted to him for righteousness. So what are you facing today? You know, what are you looking at today? Two impossibilities. Well, don't worry. God is the, is the X factor and he's the one that can make that impossibility happen. So believe God this week and trust God that God will help you. You will get through, you will scale through in the name of Jesus. And all shall be well. Have a beautiful week.